How we doing guys? My soul Chris Freddy OBE here and with a quick one. Now this video has been going around, there's been a fight, it is Croydon, but I just want to keep it real. Let's keep it real right now before I show a small little clip of the video. But I just want to show you guys that a lot of black boys have been dying in the community. But it's not just black boys, it's Asian boys as well, trying to go on like their back, gang 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 gang. It's white boys as well, trying to go on like their back, gang 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 gang. It's um, Polish, everybody is involved, everybody's up for collateral damage, so don't just sit there and think that it's one particular culture so I, I've been hearing a few other people's cultures like raw like that's really just a black thing over there no it's everybody it's not a white black mixed race it's a cultural problem now guys that we're dealing with but take a look at this small little clip take a look at this Man just swinging around, bats and poles. Man started throwing bricks. Yeah, we're throwing bricks around. But like I keep saying that, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if there's kids watching this. It doesn't matter if there's um, parents running around in the streets and old people. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Everybody's up for collateral damage. Brick your grand, bruv. Don't worry about it. Yeah? Brick your mum, bruv. Don't worry about it. Get your two-year-old sister to see someone getting stabbed in the street. Don't worry, it's normal. Tell her that it's ketchup, because that's the lifestyle that we're living. We might as well just make them know that, don't worry, this is life. And one day, you might be stabbed as well. Is that what I've got to teach my child? Is that what I've got to teach my little daughter and my little son? That one day, you might be stabbed. Do you know what? Furthermore, son, here's a knife right now. You might as well just go out on the streets right now and hold it right now, because right now, it is peak right now, guys. I can't understand how everybody's sitting there saying to me, Chris, what's the solutions? What's the solutions? What's the solutions? The solution is doing the bare minimal. The bare minimal. Bringing back um, um, just the love. Bringing back the care. Just bringing back the understanding of community. Bringing back the understanding of we are adults, guys. We are adults. And from now on, I'm going to be doing a lot of posters, a lot of blogs, but I'm going to start using this column to start shining the light. So a lot of times when you see me speaking about certain topics, there's going to be certain things flashing up on the side just to shine a light on people that are doing great things. Just to shine a light on things that's going on within our community that we need to be raising, that we need to be stepping up to right now. There's a loads of events going on. Stop telling me, Chris, what is there to do? Support your community. In north, south, east, west, there's always something going on within your community. Stop sitting there and stop waiting and find out what's going on in your community. Find out what we can do. Engage with the young people. Go and buy them a football. Go and talk to them. I'll be speaking, speaking to a few other men where I'm going to be starting up Sweep the Streets. It's something that I initiative that I tried to start a year, two years ago. But I'm going to try and bring it back again because I can see that a lot of men are stepping up. But I want to set up an initiative called Sweep the Streets. This is the first initiative that I want to set up properly, that I think is tangible, that I think that will work. Because you know what? It doesn't cost any money. It just takes time from you guys. It takes time for real men that's going to step up. So all I'm asking people to do an initiative called Sweep the Streets. And it's basically us doing outreach work in every single borough. Two to three days a week for three hours, just walking around their state and just engaging back with our young people. Don't talk to them about programs. Don't talk to them about stop smoking. You shouldn't be drinking. What are you doing? Shut up. You don't know their life yet. You haven't got in there yet. Talk to them. Understand where they're coming from. Let them see you every single day like, rah, that's James, that's James, that's James. Because eventually down the line, when it gets six weeks, seven weeks, eight weeks, nine weeks, ten weeks, thirteen weeks, whatever, when the kids realise that, rah, these people are here to stay, that's when you can say to a man, look, boom, come and go to that youth club. Boom, there's a programme over here. Boom, there's a college course. Boom, there's an apprenticeship. This is how we get in there, guys. So I'm going to be starting up an initiative. I know there's been a lot of people that's asking, how can I help? And this is down to women and guys. If you're over the age of 18 and you live in a certain area, you want to do something about it now. We want to start something called Sweep the Streets. Keeping our streets clean. Keeping our streets safe for knife and gun crime, for anything that's going on within your community. This is the way that we need to be doing it and doing it properly, guys, real outreach. So that's something that I'm gonna be starting. That's something that I'm gonna be talking to you guys very, very soon. But hey, take a look at this. Until then, we're gonna be getting more fights. Until we step up as a community now, until we step up and say, raw, all right, I'm gonna do this bit. All right, I'm gonna come out of my house, my house, 
and I'm gonna start opening up my doors. And there was a mum that I met up with, like um, she was based in um, South London. She used to open up her doors like a youth club and let all the boys in. And she would do little games with them, cooking classes, all the rest of it. And that was just one mum doing it off her own back because she had three sons and she was like, rah, I'm not even just allowing this just to allow them to run around on the streets. I'm gonna bring them in. And that's one mum. Imagine how much mum's done that. Imagine how much fathers did that. Imagine how much of you guys that's got studio spaces and stuff like that. Give some free time. Also down to um, the government as well. I wanna to talk to you quickly about something because I was talking to my friend about it. How comes like back, you remember like back in the day, kids could go anywhere and play football? You know, like go and kick a ball. You mean to tell me every single sort of football pitch and football area, you can't even play anymore. It's got to be booked out. It's got to be this. This is the reason why kids don't have nothing to do because there's no way for them to play. Start allowing them to have a little time when you can say to them, all right, cool, the, the pitch has been booked out, but when the pitch is not being booked out, you can use it. Or just having a space for young people to say, rah, this is for young people, three hours, that's their time on the weekend so they can play some football. But you guys ain't doing that. You guys ain't supporting the community, but you're putting football pitches within the community and the kids have got to walk around it or the kids have got to play football outside it. Come on, man. Come on guys, we all need to wake up and we need to wake up fast. There's more violence, more stuff happening on the streets than actually seeing positivity. Let's start shining the light. Let's start showing our young people that we do care. Let's start showing our young people that we're gonna put our hands up and say, do you know what, we got it wrong. Let's put our hands up and say, do you know what, I should have taught you better. Let's put our hands up and say, do you know what, I'm part of the problem, now I'm gonna be a part of the solution. Let's put our hands up and say, do you know what, I've done wrong, so I'm gonna do better.